Vanessa, thanks so much. Well, prepping for upcoming nuptials can be a bit overwhelming. You did it. I know. Right. We did. <laughs> Luckily, the knot always has their ear to the ground when it comes to what's trending in the world of weddings. That's for sure. Editor-in-chief Kristen Maxwell Cooper is here now with the top four wedding trends set to dominate in 2018. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and congratulations. Oh, yes. thank you so much. The knot was very helpful, I will say. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. How do you come up, first, before we get to the top trends, how do you come up with them and your list? Right. So we actually just look to the experts that we work with every single day, right? They're really at the forefront. They're hearing what their couples want. And then we're also looking to things like ready to wear runway and things like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So let's talk about the first one, baby's breath. Yes. So I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, baby's breaths claim to fame is it's a budget friendly filler flower but now it's really taking the main stage and especially when it's in bundles it can really make a statement so whether it's maybe hanging from your table maybe it's as garland around an archway or something like that or even as like a flower crown and paired with greenery it feels very sophisticated and very modern mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right and the next one balloons and arches yes don't worry, these aren't the ones that you had at your high school prom. Okay. <laughs> we, had these at, we had these at mine. Right. These feel much more sophisticated. The balloons are in different sizes. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Isn't it? It's incredible. And so, again, this is maybe an installation from above, um, from the ceiling. Maybe it's a wall that's very Instagrammable and your guests can kind of pose in front of it. Um, and it really makes a statement. And again, this is something that's really budget friendly. I was going to say, it's a lot cheaper than having, say, huge floral arrangements. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wherever you see florals, you can really traded in for balloons except for the bouquet that's my only caveat <laughs> that's true the bouquet of course um escort card the, the cards t table cards yes i'm really excited that we are giving that a little bit more attention because this is one of the first things that your guests see when they walk into the reception and we're used to seeing tables with the beautiful tented cards but this is like Perhaps it's a wall, the flower wall with names hanging from each flower and you're like picking a flower and you're picking your seat. Mm. Maybe it's um, really part of um, evoking a mood or a trend um, or really a story of the couple. So maybe they're sailors and so they have customized compasses mm. or something like that. All right. And then you have a tip with the uh, wedding dress style. Yes. So, of course, the dress is so important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, sleeves have been around for a little bit, but they really started with Kate Middleton's dress. But they were a little bit more classic, um, a little bit more traditional. And now they're feeling a bit more fashion forward. They're borrowing from the ready to wear runways. So, we're seeing bell sleeves. We're That's seeing off the shoulders. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We're seeing cap sleeves. So, really, you cannot go wrong if you're choosing a sleeve. There's so many other wedding trends as well that are on, on the website that people can check out. Another one, people asking, it's okay to ask for cash. Yes. So, what, explain what that means. So I think this has always been a faux pas, essentially, you know, as weddings have, go have gone on. But the not actually, we listened to our audience and we heard that's really what they want. Millennials value experiences. Um, the people who are getting married now are a little bit older. They may be more established. Maybe they don't need all the traditional things like pots, pans, um, things like that. So they really want to ask for cash. They want a donation so they can put a down payment on a home. Maybe they want to do renovations. Maybe they want to get a new puppy. You know, the, those types of things that are really going to um, make their life better and really prepare them to start their life together. So the Knot actually has the Newlywed Fund, which is a cash registry. It's the etiquette-approved way to ask for cash. Hmm. I was about to say, how do you ask? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because some people, I mean, it might be okay for millennials to ask, but the guests might be taken aback. Right, right. So, the, so on the Newlywed Fund, you can actually say what the cash is going to. Mm. So I'm putting this money towards a down payment. I'm putting this money towards, you know, a puppy. We've even people say I'm putting this money towards IVF and some things that are wow. really going to impact their life in a big way. So much more to talk about. Yes. We only had a little <laughs> bit more time, but you can check out the whole list on the yes. yes. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. I really appreciate it. And you can find more on wedding trends we discussed this morning on our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.